Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about my decision to apply early decision to Emory Law School. So if you're new to my channel, I am a 1L, a first year law student at the Emory University School of Law. I just completed my first month of law school. So when I applied to Emory, I applied early decision because Emory was my first choice. Emory was the ideal school that I would like to go to, AKA my dream school. So I applied early decision to show my commitment to the law school and I'll be talking a lot about why Emory was my first choice. So on this day, exactly a year ago, I went to the University of Tampa's Law Fair and Emory Law School was there. This was the first time that I really considered Emory looking holistically at their school. Um, I never really considered going here before this day. So when I left the law fair, I did my own research. I looked for videos to see if any current law student made videos, which there wasn't many. And I also saw like an orientation tour so I could see what the campus looked like, looked at the programs that they offered and they offered the transactional law certificate, which I am going to pursue. Now, another reason why I was really interested in Atlanta is because it's the place where people that look like me can be really successful and it's the kind of environment that fosters that success for people that look like me. So it was really important to find a place that I fit in with the demographics and Atlanta was that place for me. I did not want to go to a state that was too far away where I did not have any family. I do have a few family members here in Atlanta, so that also made the decision to come to Emory much easier for me. I wanted to be a place where my family was just in case it was hard to make friends, especially with this whole COVID-19. And I was just looking at a place where I know I could be successful and what was the best environment for that. And I believe for me, that was in Atlanta. I didn't set Emory as my dream school that day. It was a combination of things. So, you know, so, you know, while studying for the exam, I was also thinking about the school that I would like to go to. So I was doing my research on all of these schools. You know, I would go on their website. I would look for videos for current students um, sharing their experiences. I looked at blog posts. I looked at Instagram to see current students that went there. And um, there's a lot of law blogs. So I also looked at those and I just tried to get a feel for each school to see if I would fit in because I loved my undergrad university. So I wanted to make, so I wanted to make my graduate school even better and even an even better experience because I love to be involved. I love feeling like I belong in a university. So that was, it, so that was an important factor for me. Just a little background information on why Emory originally stood out to me. Then a few months passed by and I was talking to my mom on the phone one day and she told me, oh, I had a dream that you got accepted to law school. And I was like, oh, which one? And she's like, oh, have you heard of um, Emory? And I was like, how did you know about Emory? Because I've never mentioned Emory to her. So when she said that, something just struck out to me. It was just that day I knew that Emory was my dream school. It was, it's very weird, I know, but for some reason, like after she said that she had a dream that I got accepted to Emory, it just felt very real. And that day on, I felt like I belonged there. I kind of knew that I was going to go to Emory. I just needed to get that acceptance to seal the deal. That day on, Emory was my number one choice. So I set out to get accepted to Emory. So now let's get accepted. So I actually applied a little bit later on than you should probably should. I applied in February because I wanted to make sure that all my application materials were perfect. Emory is a very competitive school. It was top 25 and of course a top 25 law school is very competitive. So I wanted to make sure my whole application was good, got the score. I wanted to have the perfect resume. I wanted to have the best recommendation letters. I also wanted to have the best, the best personal statement. So I spent so much time on my personal statements. I had probably 12 drafts of my personal statement and I would get feedback from my family members and my friends, even my roommate to, oh, can you look at this? Do you see any problems? What would you change? 
So I just got feedback and I would correct them and I would send them back out to get more feedback. So that took some time because you cannot rush the where you cannot rush the process. So I spent my time doing that and then I and I finally applied the second week of February 2020. But before I talk about after I applied, let me talk about how I applied. I applied early decision. So early decision at Emory means you're guaranteed a decision within 14 days. And also you get a minimum scholarship of $45,000. When you apply early decision, you're signing a binding agreement. What you're saying is, if you accept me, I am not going to any other law school. I am 100% coming to your institution. So knowing that Emory was my top choice and that I did not want to go to any other schools. I would really, I really would, I really would have chosen Emory above any other top ranked schools. Cause for me, rank didn't mean that's where I belonged. Rank doesn't mean that that's where I was gonna be happy. I applied early decision knowing all of these requirements. So I submitted my application the second week of February. I believe I applied on a Thursday. So I didn't put all my bets on Emory because you cannot just apply to one school. So I applied to UC Berkeley. I applied for University of Florida just in case I needed to stay in Florida. I applied to Georgetown and I applied to a few other schools that I had free applications for. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I did not really want to go to these schools. So I just applied to wherever was free. So two days later, I believe it was the Wednesday, I got a call coming from an Atlanta phone number. I was very nervous to answer this phone call, but I did. And it was someone from the law school just uh, talking to me about the early decision uh, agreement that if you get accepted, you are bound to come to Emory. And I was just saying, yes, I agree. I believe they just wanted a verbal confirmation, um, but they did not accept me on this phone call. As soon as they hung up, I went on Reddit and I found two other posts. I believe it was from the year before that early decision applicants also got the same phone call and they got accepted. Thinking, I got this phone call, so does that mean I'm gonna be accepted? I don't know. It was played through my head all day that entire day and I called my boyfriend. I was like, hey, I got this phone call from Emory and they were just asking me, uh, they were just telling me about the early decision agreement. He's like, oh, they wouldn't call you if they weren't interested. They wouldn't call you if you weren't going to get accepted. And I was just thinking, I don't know how true that is. I don't want to get my hopes up, y'all. So for the whole day, I was just thinking, oh my God, did I get accepted? I was kind of getting happy because all the... I was kind of getting happy because all the clues led to this being an acceptance. And this was only two days, like two bit, this was only like a couple business days after I applied. So I didn't know what to think of it just yet. Waking up the next morning, I knew that I was accepted to Emory because I actually dreamt that I got accepted. So I actually had a dream that I got accepted. And this whole correlations with dreams, I don't know what it was, but I just felt like it was, I just felt like it was a premonition to what was going to happen. So the dream that my mom had the year before of dream, she dreamt of a school that I never told her about that I already was considering to be my first choice, but that sealed the deal. And then after I got this mysterious phone call, I also had a dream that I got accepted. So I already knew at this point that I got accepted, but I still needed that confirmation. And guys, that same day I went into my internship at this time, I was in Tallahassee for two months, finishing my last semester. I was checking my email like I normally do, because ever since I applied to Emory, I was checking my email every 10 seconds to see if any emails were coming in, because that's how you get notified when you apply early decision. So I refreshed my email maybe 10 minutes before. So I was like, hey, it's been 10 minutes. I need to refresh again. As soon as I hit refresh, I saw an email come in from the dean, and it said, your decision it says your application decision i opened the email the first word congratulations i was ecstatic i was so excited it was just that confirmation of that premonition that i've had for the past couple of months and it just felt so good i was so excited I was screaming, I was so happy, everyone was congratulating me and it just felt unreal. Like for the next few days, 
I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. And then to make that day even better, I was sent home early in my internship. They're like, yo, go and enjoy your acceptance. And also the representative called me down to the Florida House session. This is where all the legislators are making law. Announced my acceptance on state television in Florida and the whole and the whole room clapped for me and they were congratulating me. And guys, these are actual legislators. So it's very happy because that's not something that happens all the time. I was very grateful. I was very happy because I, because she also contributed to my application. She wrote my recommendation letter. So I was very grateful. Um, you know, law schools look at your holistic application. They want to see more than your LSAT score as well. It's important, but they also want to see more. So I had more. The best day that I had all year. I was so excited. I was trying to keep it from Instagram. I wanted to do this big reveal, but I could not keep my mouth shut because I've been talking about the school for so long and I just wanted to share it and be, and I just wanted to share it and just have the whole world know that I'm going to Emory Law. I got accepted to law school. The dream is coming true and I just couldn't wait to share it with everyone. I hope that you all enjoyed my story and this can be an inspiration to you that don't give up on your dreams. Dreams can be a foreshadow of what can happen in the future. Um, take them seriously. If you dream something and you don't act upon it, it's not going to happen. You need to also work towards fulfilling your dreams and that's what I did. And I just completed my first month at Emory Law School. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section or in my Instagram DMs. I respond much quicker on Instagram. And I'll see you later. Bye.